Right guys, so uh, today's home workout, our next home workout is an E2 mom, that's every two minutes you're going to go for a run. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to grab a marker, so you've got a cone, you've got something that you can take with you, it's up to you, something that you can put down and not going to blow away or anything like that. So you're going to run out, you're going to run for 20 seconds, at the 20 second mark you're going to pop your marker down and then you're going to run back, dead easy. Yeah. The goal is that you're going to be running for 40 seconds ish, yeah? and the idea being that you will hit a consistent pace each and every each and every two minutes. So, ideally, you should be getting there and back in the exact same amount of time on each and every round. You're going to do this 10 total times, so it's a 20 minute workout, um, and again, you should be moving at a relatively consistent pace, running for approximately 40 seconds, the same distance each time. That's the goal, we'll run you through the warm up in a second and um, we'll take you through some movements. Okay guys, so this is your run warm up for today. Uh, we're going to start off by warming up our hips and we're going to work our way slowly down to our feet and ankles. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do figure four stretch alternating sides. So you're going to grab your hip, grab your foot, pull it up nice and high and just alternate sides, you're gonna do 10 reps. Follow it through nice and steadily. Beautiful, once you've done 10 reps, you're then gonna move on to quad pulls. Again, you're just gonna reach back, grab hold of your foot, pull it into your bum, and then back down. Alternating sides, again, go for 10 reps, maybe a little more, go off feel, it's personal preference on this one. Then you're gonna do knee pulls. So you're gonna pull your knee into your chest. Again, just warming up those hips, keeping it moving nice and controlled each time. Then we're gonna to start to work our way down into our calves and you're just gonna to start to get a little bit explosive. You're gonna rock side to side on your feet. Yeah, so you're just uh, rocking side to side. If you've got the space to move about doing this, obviously go for 10 meters or so. If not, do 20 reps on each side. Again, getting your calves nice and warm. Next, we're gonna go for uh, oh, hurdle, uh, what, what, words, um, we're going to go for step over, stepping over the hurdle or over the gate stretch. So you're going to lift your leg up nice and high and you're going to step over the gate and back down. Again, you can do this walking if you've got the space to do it. If not, on the spot is perfectly fine as well. Then you're going to go over the gate the other way. So your hip comes out the other side and you're going to step back over. Again, we're just warming up those hips, warming up your feet. If you can do it moving, then again, you'll be warming up a little bit better, but work with what you've got for now. Um, next up, we're going to go for high knees, running on the spot. So you're just going to really bring your knees up nice and high. And we're going to start to pump those elbows as well as we get into it. There he is. Now he's fast. There he is. Fucking road runner. <laughs> How long before we get it deleted off YouTube for swearing? Uh, <laughs> um, so nice high knees and we're gonna go butt kicks or ass kicks so you're gonna run on the spot flicking your heels beautiful and then next and not but last but not least you're gonna do power jumps so you're just gonna go for power skips driving your knees up nice and high yeah there we go alternating sides wow you're really awkward at that one <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, la and then, sorry, last but not least, we've got one more. We're going to go side to side. Um, so you're just going to go side shuffles. Josh will show you a little bit if you can manage to stay in short. You're just going to go one side, yeah, and then side shuffle the other way. Beautiful. Like a crab. Hand action's not necessary. Um, and that's your warm-up for today, guys. You should be nice and ready to run after that. I recommend doing a couple of hundred metres um, if you've got the space to do so um, before you do anything else. Okay, guys, so just, just going to quickly demonstrate uh, how to run through today's workout. Obviously, you're just running out for 20 seconds. So Josh is going to start running. Um, and it's been tw imagine it's been 20 seconds or so. You go 18, 19, 20. Drop the, uh, the marker down. Quickly turn back and run back the other way. 18, 19, 20. So it should roughly be taking him 40 seconds to get there and back. Then he's going to wait till the end of the two minutes. You can set a clock on your phone, however you want to do it, on your wristwatch. And off he goes again. He's going to run back to his marker. Obviously, you don't have to pick it up this time. You're just going to touch the marker and run back.
Easy work. You can do that 10 times, guys. Enjoy. Don't forget to get your marker on your, on your last rep. Okay, guys, today's cool down. We're going for 90 seconds of downward, sorry, two minutes accumulative of downward dog. So in this position, we're going to start in our press-up position or top support. We're going to push our head through. And you're going to try and drive those heels down hard towards the floor. Two minutes, accumulate it, guys. Rest if you need to.